Hi, my name is Chris Bennis. I'm the president of the Lake Forest Caucus. And today I have the privilege to be speaking with John Noble. We're gonna talk with him today, learn a little bit more about what he's been up to and some of the great contributions he's been making as a volunteer in the community and provide some background for those of you who are interested in volunteering and what some of the attributes are that serves people well when they are volunteering for Lake Forest. So John, thank you for being here today. Thank you, uh, it's a pleasure and uh, I'm excited about the opportunity to share with others, so thank you. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Lake Forest has been part of my life for a long, long time. Uh, I was spent about 10 years when I first got married to my wife in Evanston, and then we moved back here. I was a professional tennis player for a short spell. Um, I coached for a few years uh, individually and then um, started pursuing during that time some acting. Started to work in the finance area. We did uh, mergers and acquisitions, strategic planning, treasury work for um, corporations, some wiseacre invited me to audition for the uh, <laughs> the caucus, as Roped it were. Wrote you in. <laughs> Wrote me in. And, and it was just, it was, it was a blessing. It was the right time, right thoughts um, came in, presented this story and kind of what I do and what I believe in. And I um, uh, just kind of laid it out there to say, hey, if you guys perceive I'm of value to the caucus and the community, I am happy to serve. If other people in the community are looking to volunteer and engage the caucus, what are some of the things they should keep in mind as they navigate that process? If you see something and you would like to contribute, uh, there's a lot of people that are wishing and wanting that type of contribution. And, and frankly, it's just willing to get your hands dirty. I talk a lot, but at the same time, I really try to, to hold in that I'm actually listening at the same time. So I'm trying to hear what the problem is, and I've got an interest in actually in help, helping solve that problem. I can't be what I'm not, but can you have empathy towards those causes? Can you speak to how the board impacts the financial aspect of uh, the district? What we're having to answer to is, are we being responsible? Have we considered all the alternatives? What are the choices? Because we're talking about taxing families that have children in the school, we're taxing um, uh, adult seniors maybe have no longer have kids in the school, people that are on fixed incomes, people that are very wealthy, people that are not very wealthy. Can you share with us some thoughts that you have on what success is going to look like at, uh, at the end of your term? Am I leaving the school district and my next set of board members and administration and the other people there in a, in a better spot than they were? Have I uncovered um, and solved some problems that effectively that existed to make a little bit better? I think it'll be measured by other people than myself. But I think if I can um, honor myself, the community, my family, the students, then I, I think I'll probably have done what I need to be to have done to do a good job. So thank you. My pleasure. Thank you so much.